From the simple life to the Sarasota coast, the Florida getaway where the Amish have been letting their hair down metaphorically for a 100 years by Sheila Flynn for Daily Mail Com published, 9.56 EDT, 18 July 2018 Updated, 9.59 EDT, 18 July 2018 Dina the nightly volleyball game in the Pinecraft neighborhood of Sarasota, Florida, is the highlight of the day for many vacationers who have come to the Sunshine State to escape the brutal winters further north Young people gather to watch as the women take the sand, but they're far from the bikini-clad players dotting so many other beaches along the Gulf Coast These women, instead, are wearing long modest dresses, their hair covered with white bonnets They're Amish and Mennonite from across the U.S. and members of their communities have been flocking to this little corner of Florida to vacation for almost a century Photographer Dina Latoski visited Pinecraft in February, documenting the vacationers as they rode bikes, ate ice cream, hosted fish fries and hobnobbed, many enjoying slightly more relaxed rules than observed back home Some even wore flip-flops some motorized their tricycles, many homes boast electricity Everyone, she tells DailyMail.com, was friendly. Dina Litoski members of both Mennonite and Amish communities are distinguishable by their different lifestyles and dress Amish men typically have full beards and women embrace block colors, while Mennonite women wear patterns and men less facial HAIRD Nilatoski The nightly women's volleyball is a huge draw for young members of the community, most from Indiana, Ohio, and P-E-N-N-S-Y-L-V-A-N-I-A Dina Litovskin Like many Amish communities, Pinecraft homes have electricity, people often use motorized vehicles such as golf carts and bicycles, and women even wear flip-flop sandals What struck me was how welcoming everybody was and how friendly everybody is, she says Maybe it's because they're also on vacation and I'm not coming into their home and pointing a camera at them We're kind of both on somebody else's territory. People, in general, on vacations are in a good mood She adds, we usually see Amish in terms of, you know, the boggy, where they're living in Pennsylvania, Ohio So we have this image of the Amish that we see most of the time So it was different, they weren't working, they were on vacation, they were just hanging out in the street riding bikes, just a kind of festive atmosphere Rules and beliefs vary across different Amish and Mennonite communities, which are Christian, but the core beliefs of all are rooted in simplicity, non-violence, self-reliance and ash will of anything, including various technologies that could detract from the tight-knit nature of the communities Before adult baptism, Amish youth are allowed to experience life in the outside world amongst people called the English in a process known as Rimspringa, a rite of passage during which teens can decide whether they want to continue living the traditional lifestyle with which they've grown up Mennonites tend to be more liberal, embracing more technology and driving, whereas the Amish live more simply There are fashion differences, as well Mennonite women favor patterned clothes, for example, while the Amish wear block colors Amish men wear full beards, whereas Mennonites sport less facial hair Most Amish and Mennonites who visit Pinecraft come from states such as Pennsylvania, Ohio, Illinois, and Indiana, traveling by bus the arrival and departure of the buses is another exciting occurrence in Pinecraft, with many gathering to greet and bid farewell to friends and family or simply to see who disembarks 
Dina Latosky Photographer Dina Latosky traveled to Pinecraft in February to document vacationing Amish and M E N N O N I T E S Dina Latosky women gather for the first all-female Mennonite box ball game in Pinecraft as their husbands stand to the side. C H E E R I N G Dina Latosky Teenage boys and girls hang out in the Pinecraft park in early evening. Latosky was surprised to see widespread use of cell phones, which have been adopted to varying degrees by different Mennonite and Amish communites across the U.S. Dina Latosky young couple and their son enjoy the late afternoon sun in Pinecraft, which is a community of several hundred house A lot of things were happening outside, Latosky tells Daily Mail Com. Everything is happening in the street there's really a rich street life. The photographer, who will soon return to the neighborhood to continue the project, says everybody said they loved this place because they got to interact with other Amish and Mennonites that they don't usually get to do in their communities. Their communities are pretty closed. Share this article Share most usually stay in their own groups, she observed, though there is some interaction with locals as the visitors frequent the ice cream shop and restaurants, and a few non-Amish even attended a fish fry while she was there According to Visit Sarasota, Amish and Mennonite farmers were convinced to come to the region in the 1920s to use the land for agricultural purposes, primarily to grow celery, a common Amish crop When they arrived, they found the soil was not suitable for extensive celery crops, though the weather enticed them to stay or at least visit on a regular basis Dina Latosky Amish women prepare food at a Pinecraft fish fry, which also drew locals and people who were not Amish or Mennonite Dina Latosky Latosky says everybody said they loved this place because they got to interact with other Amish and Mennonites that they don't usually get to do in their communities Their communities are pretty C-L-O-S-E-D Dina Latosky Photographer Latosky says that, in Pinecraft, there's really a rich street life. Mennonite and Amish families have been vacationing in the neighborhood since the 1920s when they were encouraged to farm locally, but the soil was U-N-S-U-I-T-A-V-L-E Dina Latosky young girl rides her back past a mural in Pinecraft Park Litovsky says everyone was very welcoming in the neighborhood they set up the community of Pinecraft, a very small area of about 500 tiny homes and a planned grid at the intersection of Beneva Road and Bahia Vista Street, occasional, highly competitive auctions attest to the stiff competition for getting gone of the lots Few homeowners live here year-round, many homes are rented to others within the order The community used to be removed from the city of Sarasota, but the city has grown up around it The Amish community of Sarasota is more liberal than its northern counterparts Latovsky, who was shooting for The New Yorker and had never had any real contact previously with Amish or Mennonite communities, says she was surprised to see widespread usage of cell phones, though it's a technology that is proliferated among many such groups She also studied their ways and customs before she headed down to Florida because she doesn't like to go blind What I wanted to avoid is kind of just exoticizing them just because they were wearing outfits that signal they were Amish, she says I wanted to make sure the photo would be interesting if you were wearing regular clothes She says she wanted her photos to point not to who they are but rather what are they doing All my pictures had to be what is going on in the photo Rather than who is in the photo she adds I had absolutely no problem shooting Maybe it was because I was just alone, just me, no reporter, one camera I didn't look like a big photojournalist 
I was very respectful. I talked to people, asked questions. Everything was interesting.